I'm Regina Gale Phillips. I'm the Executive Director of the Lincolnville Museum and Cultural Center. Kente cloth, for anybody that doesn't know, it's a woven fabric that's done on a loom and uh, they're woven into long strips and then those strips are sewn together to create a, 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 a larger piece of fabric. It's made in a um, village in uh, West Africa uh, that's known as the Kente village. And so it's mainly young men that uh, are the weavers and they um, have some very intricate patterns that they use. In addition to um, the weaving on there, it's an Ashante piece. The Ashante was the larger tribe of people and they have um, symbols that are on there that are basically, it's known as Adinkra. And so uh, all the symbols represent um, different um, letters or um, you know, words. Uh, African fabrics are used for clothing They've been used for upholstery. They've been used for, um, you know, uh, other decorative items, you know, like window treatments or bed covers. The big w black and white piece that I talked about earlier would have traditionally be, been worn as what's called a man cloth, and it's really like a big loin cloth that, you know, it's wrapped and it's covered with a piece, you know, so you see like the kings wearing different colors of loin cloth. Poor people would probably wear more things that were um, closer to the earth. <clears throat> and it depends on the time period that you're talking about. You know, they probably would have worn less clothing or some kind of hide. <laughs> That's, you know, we don't think of it as fabric, but that was, you know, what people covered themselves with. Um, you have fads in, in, in fashion. So it has been incorporated into the fashion world. You have some top line designers now who are making fabrics, uh, uh, including these fabrics into their designs. Some uh, young African-American women who are, who are doing that. And so they're bringing it into the couture world. And I think if people understand how they were used, it gives you a better understanding of the culture of the people that um, where it originated. 